Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 7 divided by 7 minus x is equals to 7 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of these roots are solution and which of these roots are extraneous root. So for this we need to solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here we need to move the 7 minus x to the right hand side uh, so when we multiply 7 minus x to the right hand side it will be written as x minus 7 is equals to 7 times of 7 minus x and further in the next step uh, we have x minus 7 is equals to uh, when we multiply 7 on both of these two terms it will be written as 7 times of 7 becomes 49 <coughs> and minus 7 times of x is equals to 7x and <coughs> in the next step uh, here we need to move the variable terms into the left hand side and we move the constant terms to the right hand side so from right hand side we move this minus 7x to the left hand side so this is the negative term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes positive and when we move this minus 7 to the right hand side it will becomes also positive okay so we get here x plus 7x becomes here 8x and 49 plus 7 is equals to 56 and further in the next step uh, because we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why we need uh, to remove this 8 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 8 of each of these terms so when we divide both of the sides by 8 it will be written as this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we will get here our x is equals to uh, from here uh, we have 8 times of 7 becomes 56 so we get the value of x is equals to 7 so here in this method we will get only one root of the given equation and that is x is equals to 7 and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not now so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and it is x minus 7 divided by 7 minus x is equals to 7 so uh, here uh, in order to verification of the value we substitute this value of x is equals to 7 into the left hand side and it will be written as in this form this is 7 minus 7 divided by 7 minus 7 is equals to 7 so this implies that 7 minus 7 becomes 0 and this 7 minus 7 is also becomes 0 is equals to 7 so here you know about that 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. So if this is the indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined form. If this is undefined form so it means that both of the sides are not equal. So if both of the sides are not equal so this means that the value of x is equals to 7 is not satisfied our given question statement so we conclude about that x is equals to 7 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so uh, this is the extraneous root uh, and we know about that <coughs> if x is equal to 7 be the extraneous root and we cannot get any other value of x in this method so so this means that this question has no solution because we cannot get any other value of x which is satisfied our given question statement so here i can just um, little bit explain the uh, difference between solution and extraneous root so here uh, the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution and the roots which does not satisfy the given question statement is called the extraneous root likewise you see here x is equal to 7 be the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and um, uh, unfortunately you see here this question uh, does not have any solution okay so uh, further uh, we again solve this problem for second method 
and in second method uh, we first need to copy down given question statement here and <clears throat> the given question statement is x minus 7 divided by 7 minus x is equals to 7 so this is the our given question statement uh, and here in the second method i can just give you uh, a quickest way uh, in which you easily get the roots of this equation so here in this method uh, we need to first take common negative sign from numerator term so when you take common negative sign from numerator term it will be written as minus times of 7 minus x you know that when we take common negative sign from here uh, we just interchange the sign of both of these two terms so it will be written as 7 minus x and in the denominator we have 7 minus x is equals to 7 and, and now here you again see into the left hand side is that uh, this 7 minus x is uh, cancelled out by this 7 minus x so in the left hand side we will get here minus 1 is equals to 7 so uh, minus 1 is equals to 7 uh, shows that uh, the value or shows that this question uh, does not have uh, any other value uh, does not get any value of x because minus 1 is not equals to 7 this is not satisfied so if this is not satisfied uh, so this means that we cannot get any value of x and if we cannot get any value of x this finally means that uh, this question has no solution because we cannot get any other value of x okay so uh, in the second method this is our final conclusion and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.